Hey everybody. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can integrate Autogen, Langchain, and open source models using LM Studio. So we are going to build a PDF chat application using this type of integration. All right, so I already have videos on Autogen and how to set up the LM Studio and also videos on Langchain. Okay, so if you've not subscribed to my channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. All right, so let's get into it. We would need to install LM Studio. So I already have videos on how you can do that installation. So I'm gonna attach this link in the description so you can just download it. So depending on the version of your, the system, type of system you have, you can hit any of these. So I have downloaded this and installed this, the LM Studio for Windows. All right. So when it's done, you should get to a UI just like this one. There are a bunch of open source models that you can use. Okay. All right. So today's video, we are going to use the Minstrel Dolphin 2.2. So when you have that in, you just hit go. So you should open up a bunch of models from the block. All right, so for this purpose, I um, downloaded the Dolphin 2.1 Mistral 7B, the Q5, the GGL version, have that downloaded. All right, so the next thing is we need to go to get a server ready. Okay, so you can see this, we have to start the server, but before we do that, we need to go to the VS Code to set up the Autogen and the long chain. Okay, so let me open the VS Code up. So in the VS Code, let's get into the requirement. Right, so we need to install this requirement and I should get a new terminal, hit new. All right, so we need Lanchain, OpenAI, TikToking, Chroma DB to for, gonna use the Chroma for the vector, vector store, and the Pi PDF, the Pi Autogen, the Hanging Face Hub, the Centered Transformers. All right, so we need to install this. So in your terminal, you should type pip install dash r requirement txt. So when you hit enter, it's going to install these packages required to run this application. All right, I have already installed that, so I don't need to do that again. And you get into your Pi app. Okay, so we are actually going to use this document for this demonstration. So this is just a, a two pages PDF Walmart um, presentation from the CEO, right? So we're actually going to implement this to create our PDF chart. Okay, so let's get back to the VS code. All right, so I have the document in here already. Okay. And all right, so I have my setup code here. I'm going to walk you through that. Okay, so from Langchain, we are going to import the vector store. So, so we're going to use the Chrome as the vector store. We are going to need the embeddings. So so we are going to use the hugging face embedding. So for this embedding, we are going to use the sentence transformers from hugging face. Okay, so we are going to use the recursive character text splitter to split the text. The Pi PDF loader for the PDF load, we're going to load it. It's going to load this document using the Pi PDF loader. We're going to do the conversation buffer memory to create a memory the conversation, the open AI from long chain, and we are going to use the conversational retrieval chain. 
for the Q&A according to the open AI and the autogen. All right, so I'm going to walk you through this. So now we need to set up the launch chain using the model from the LM Studio. All right, so let me show you what I mean. Okay, so the good thing is LM Studio, the setup for the LM Studio mimics or is exactly the same as that of the OpenAI API. So it's really easy to connect the two. Okay, so we are going to use the OpenAI API base. You are going to use this um, this link right here. So we are going to do this in two folds. We are going to do that for Langchain and we are going to do that for Autogen. So we are going to connect this using this link right here. And this is the server port that's going to be one, two, three, four, as you can see here. Okay. So for this demonstration, we are going to link the two. So I'm going to show you first, let's set up for the one with the launch chain. So because we are going to use the LLMs, okay? So we are going to use this setup. Right before, because it's had the same setup of OpenAI, it has the same setup with that of the LM Studio, we can connect the API. So we are going to connect this link right to this endpoint so that it can connect to the model here. All right. Okay, so API base is going to be this link. So you can just go here, just like that, and you copy this, okay? And you paste it here. And the OpenAI, the API key is null because we are not using any API key. We already have this setup done. We don't need an API key. Okay, so now we load the PDF file from the directory, use the PI PDF loader, we load it right here and we are going to create a list empty list and we are going to iterate through the file pdf file reloaded we iterate through the file and we extend it into the doc here so we are just going to extend that and store it in the docs here and now we split the text into chunks using the recursive character text splitter we create a chunk of thousand and the next thing is we split the docs using the split document and we store it into docs. All right. So now we create a vector store, use Chroma, and we pass the collection name to be full document. And the embedding function, we are using the Hagi face embeddings to create embeddings. So we use the sentence transformers in here. And we want to do that on the CPU. And now we add the, from the vector store, we add the documents in there. Okay, now everything is in the vector store. So we now we need to create a Q&A, conversational retrieval chain, and we pass the open AI temperature, right? And the next thing is we use the vector store as the retriever and the memory for the conversational buffer memory. So we pass the chat history and we want to return the messages. Okay, so we are done with the long chain side. Okay, so the next thing is to set up for the, set the config for the autogen, right? So we are still gonna connect it to the API, open API base here, okay? All right, so we have the same API base, right? So we just copy that and we copy the same configuration, kind configuration, we copy the same link and we paste it in here. And the API key is not, we don't need an API key for this. All right, so we set up the Autogen user agent for the user agent and we set up for the assistant agent. So um, the function calling is not yet supporting this, but we let, let's try it and see how this works, okay? All right, so now 
we are passing the LLM config and we are saying 600 and the seed is 42 config list. We are passing the config list. We already have set up here. Okay, we pass in the config list and we want to create, put in a function and we are going to give it a name of chat docs and answer any chat docs related questions. So we want it to answer the related question from the chat docs and we pass in the properties and we make it a type of string and give a description, the question to ask in relation to chat docs. And what is required is the question that we are passing in. Okay, so we create a function that takes in a parameter called a question and it calls the QA chain and answer it by returning the answer from the chain. And now the next thing is we create an assistant agent. We create an assistant agent, call it assistant, and we pass in the LLM config. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is, so we create a user proxy agent instance here. Okay, just, just like the user, and we are going to pass the human input mode to be never. We don't want any interruption. And the auto reply, just make it once. So let's see how that, that's going to work. And we create a code execution config. So if there's any document that is outputted, it should go to a directory called the docs. And we pass in the config the same. And we give it a system message as this one. It should terminate if everything has been satisfied. Otherwise, it should continue. OK. And now we pass in the function map. So we pass in the chat docs and the chat docs that we created up, the function we created up. And uh, we now pass the assistant. The, so the assistant receives a message from the user, which contains a task description. OK, so the user passes that to assistance, this instruction to um, work on. So find answers to the three questions below from the chat docs PDF and do not write any code just to make sure it doesn't deviate from what I wanted to do. So I passed these simple questions with the CEO format. What did Doc Mac? Macmillan write about Walmart, write about the executive server. Okay, so before we do that, we need to start the server. All right, so let's start the server. Okay, so let me just head. So we make sure these are on the server port, the cross origin resource sharing, the request queuing, everything is on, the server login is on. The prompt formatting is on so i hit start so as you know it's loading the model let's give it a view to load the model okay so as you can see the server is ready so let's go back to the vs code okay let me make sure everything is safe and let me pull this up. Okay. So when I say Python app Pi, I'm going to hit enter. So let's see.
All right, perfect. All right, so I think I have a, an output. So the user prompts me to the um, agent passing these instructions, who is the CEO of Walmart, what did the Macmillan write about? Okay, from the, from the PDF file, the assistant to the user prompts, he said, I will find the answers to your question using my language skills and information provided in this PDF file, this one. So please wait for a moment. So after analyzing the chat PDF, I found Mike McDonald is CEO of Walmart as of. So from the PDF, it this looks correct. So Doc McMillan wrote about Walmart's commitment to sustainability and their focus on serving customers and creating opportunity for the associate in a letter level. Okay, so as you can see, it's actually giving me correct answers. Um, so it means that it didn't usually um, really use the function calls since it doesn't really from, um, support that. Okay, so however, it was able to give me um, correct access answers that I actually requested through the prompt. So the executive shuffle refers to the changes in leadership positions within an organization such as, so we went on the still continued, the user proxy to the assistant, continue, and it gives me, it gave me another set of answers and it says I'll continue to analyze. So it just repeated itself with the same, with the same answers. We'll be keeping updates on how this works if function calling us has been added up to support the um, LM Studio when you want to use the local models from here. Okay. All right. So just try it out and see how things work. You can change the model and see how each of them works together. All right. So let me know in the comment section how it goes. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next one.